really hope it will be. I hope it's going to be exciting to see. Going to be playing up against VP here, starting on the CT side and OG on the T side of Mirage. A big welcome. It's a best of three that's just started now. And um, yeah, I think I think in terms of, I would say, mental fortitude, I think VP are going to be way stronger than OG. I think OG are, are going to be more reliable, like more liable to, to crumble if things start to go get a little bit rough here. No, we've seen it. Isa with the... Oh, dude, Isa has also been popping off in pistols. It's worth mentioning. Yesterday, he was just annihilating Gen G in all the pistol yeah. rounds. He was getting all the kills. So, and there you go. You know, already uh, he was prepared for Buster and the push into Palace. And now that is key. Virtus Pro now going to have to push to top mid to try and get information. And guess what? Veld is waiting for him here. Or he was. Decides to back off to go and pick up that bomb. And if he is stomping around here, that might be good enough for Yakinder. This is a big opportunity now for Yakinder. A lot of risk ta getting taken, but they need the info. VP need to pull off some kind of weird play. And unfortunately for him, it doesn't work out. Velda's going to take his head off. He got spotted by MBK. And MBK called into Velda. And they like that was really quick communication. Super, super important that they managed to relay that information. Otherwise, I mean, still from Yakinder, what a great move. He saw that opportunity and just went for it. That was just him making that call on his own. But definitely... Oh, good job. And now they're going to gamble stack towards the A side, and I don't really mind that from VP's point of view. You really have to do something. 45 seconds, and if they, I mean, all they need is maybe like one strong USP kill to start this, this off with, and they're right back in the round. It's going to be smokes, but those are all going to land behind where most of these players are holding at the moment. 30 seconds. No, oh, man, this is going to be brutal for OG. The shots should be on point for Virtus Pro. They're going to get within the smoke radius. They see it coming now. Flash in. Opportunity is here now. OG need to hit the ground running and nothing but shots coming through. They spot out Kicker as well. Sanji only going to pick up the one kill. And despite all four players for Virtus Pro being present on the A site, OG just ran right over him. Yeah. And I mean, what I guess the problem really for VP there was, like I said, you, you need that one strong early kill to slow things down. But... But when nothing is slowed down, they're just going to keep coming, right? They, so they 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 essentially just run so far into the bomb side that you can't stop them anymore. So that was just, uh, yeah, OG not getting slowed down, and the smokes never really came into play all that much. But still, great round to start off with, at least. It's a tough one. I, you know, it's almost comical when you look at Sanji's position as well, where yeah. uh, he's probably thinking, oh, I'm being so sneaky on the edge of the smoke. But from the guy shooting at him, you can just clearly tell that it's just like yeah. legs sticking out the bottom of the edge of that smoke there. Like, not sneaky at all. Not really. sneaky at all, dude. Sorry. We see you coming from a mile away. Well, that is the strong start that OG were hoping for, at least in the pistol round. They've got that bomb that can rotate through underpass as well. Currently making a little bit of noise. Exactly. Velda over here towards uh, B. The rest of OG, they're trying to take advantage of these rifles that they've gone ahead and purchased this round. Really setting themselves up to take over short quickly. They know that there's a man holding close. MBK going to open it up. Takes the first kill. Buster is out of it. Sanji trying to trade, and he takes a deagle shot. MBK out of it. But with four players alive, Bomb about to get planted on B. Things are looking up here for OG. Yeah, that was a pretty, I mean, a very decisive call being made there. Once they had the catwalk, they just decided to go for it instead of messing around, which avoids at least one of the pitfalls you can have in those second rounds if you start to get into long drawn out battles against deals and scouts and all the rest of it but yeah they avoided that the danger of doing it really is if you run into a stack all of a sudden but um yeah they felt comfortable that that wasn't going to be the case and they have like cb up here in case there was going to be a rotation he could uh, try and, and interfere with that but seems like for now vp are happy to just say what they've got so a second round at least on the board for the og side it's not bad at all Gonna be happy with the way that this has got off the ground. Yeah, they keep all four of their rifles alive. Yeah, that's really big. That's I mean, the whole point of them buying these rifles. Yeah, you're right. If you if you are losing the Mac 10, it's sort of like yeah, whatever, it's fine, you know. But um, but if once you have the the AKs and the Galils, you you want to keep that going for sure. Wow, and they even go for another one. This is uh, so OG really leaning hard into the next round and leaning hard into building a bank. That's what the name of the game is here for OG. So three AKs, two Galils, bunch of nades. OG not skimping on um, the support, but Jame, he gets a body shot on Montu, barely survives with four health. And it's looking like a bit of a rinse repeat sort of situation here for OG. Virtus Pro are trying to play into this though. They've got four players ready on that B site. If OG were to run the same strategy, it would not go as easily. Yeah, they've got a lot more cover in the B bomb site. And it is it is a strange coin flip when you're on the VP side here. I mean what you can't really can't really know where they're going to end up, so 
They're just stacking and hoping that it's going to be working out. OG, on the other hand, are doing their best to, to sort of check out exactly what's going on. You could see Alexi was up there before the smoke went down, hoping to take a look into the A-bomb site. They haven't felt any more force in middle either, so, you know, grenades will help out a bit. Sanji still burning, trying to see if he can escape. They would have heard a little bit of running. They still have a minute left. They actually don't have to come here. They felt... Again, I, I imagine, especially because they've been... I think MBK's been in the middle in that ladder room for a long time. And he just hasn't heard or seen anyone. Which, in itself, is a little bit suspicious. I wonder, well, wait a minute. If they're not... If they're not in B and they're not... Or if they're not in the middle and they're not really fighting us from the A-bomb side or anything, maybe, you know... Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something cheeky going on. Yeah, Lexi still has nobody in connector. The problem... The, the slower they go, though, OG... You can see the rotation coming now from Virtus Pro. They're going to get in position. NBK is now going to be caught in a sandwich. Stuck here in the ladder room. And uh, if there was anybody in jungle, he'd be a dead man. Luckily for him, that's not the case. He is still getting whittled down. And Virtus Pro, they picked up a rifle. yakinder has got a gun to work with. Mantu finds the headshot on him, though. Takes that out of the picture. So a four-on-four four take of the A-site. Bomb just gets planted with 15 seconds left. And, well, <laughs> that was clever. NBK still surviving here. Oh, Buster, he really wants him. He's jumping for oh, it. Oh, man. Do we get the Callies? Oh, he's thinking about it so badly. Finally gets his reward. He's been hunting him for a long time. Now he's going to try and go straight through the window, and Manta will catch him. So in spite of our, what turned into a very, very dangerous round, there's so low on health on the VP side that actually getting through and defusing the bomb just will not be easy. Although that Molotov is real interesting. They don't have a kit, obviously, so the defuse is going to be a long, long time. That's a good kill there, but Jame has to retreat. No time, even if he got the last kill here. So that is so expensive for VP. It's a very well played round, and I think you're absolutely you're absolutely right. They did just go just slow enough that VP could catch mm -hmm. up to them. Yeah, that was weird. It, you would think that if OG were calling the rotate, you'd be decisive about it. But the the yeah. teams mirrored themselves, mirrored each other rather perfectly. And well, obviously Verse Pro got the firepower even with pistols. They'll they'll get kills if you give them the chance. So that turned into more of an expensive round for OG than they've signed up for, of course. And unfortunately for them, they were really looking to build that bank, keeping those rifles alive. Now they've tapped a lot of that bank, having to rebuy on everybody. So a little bit of a stumble here at the start for OG, but still three rounds on the board here at the beginning of the T side of Mirage. And well, Virtus Pro, they've got the AWP. They've got an AUG on Yakinder. So we'll see if he can get something going here. Oh, Montu's fast enough to hit these shots. Miss chance. Yeah. They're not going to stick around expecting that there are going to be some counter grenades coming out. Well, they're creating a bit of a distraction for the minute. But they're going to slowly start to fall back. They do have Isa hiding outside of the A bomb site. But in middle, I think this is really cool for VP. Look at this aggression. They're still GM holding the one way, Yakindar on the other side. I really, really like this. Look like there's going to be a run boost, which actually could be huge trouble for uh, Yakindar. He has to sw just flip around and try and do it. And yeah, and he's dead already. Jane with a nice return, though. And we're under a minute, so trading. Although Buster comes in with no real backup. I don't think he was even flashed in there. Just shows up and gets shot in the face. That might be a bit of an issue. Now they're bringing the bomb back. And this is actually a great call at the moment here. Jame trying to show up in time, but he could get smoked off. Mate, no, not quite. They don't have one left, actually. So maybe Jame could be the hero in this one. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's already at window. This is big. OG now with 30 seconds left. They're going to be hard-pressed to get in here scot-free. A flash. Uh, we saw that flash come through, but NBK just slow walking right in. Perfect shot. And these are just terrible situations here for OG. Walking in one after another against an AWP. You're dead, men. And Issa's on the other side of the map. He's only just now getting towards the B apartments. This is not happening for OG. They're going to be saving uh, this AWP and AK. And it looks like they will be able to, yeah. So it's the actually, three players for VP will survive. It's actually tragically comical because <laughs> the reason why Issa's so late is he was he was distracting over at A. He was throwing a smoke and a Molotov into, mm -hmm. into jungle. But there was no one there to hear it. So VP couldn't even... They had already rotated into the B bomb site. Which actually, you know, again, mirroring the, the early rotations and the gambles they've been doing so far. This is something that's it's so worth knowing about VP if you're playing him in the future. Is if they have a tendency to over-rotate, which so far has been working out great. But if you know, then you can absolutely abuse that in a, in a big way. But so far, this is really good. And OG, I mean, I think matched with the fact that definitely VP at the moment in these early rounds are quite happy to rotate quickly to a bomb site. On the same t at the same time, OG are, are slow once they feel like they have the opening. You can you can tell they keep slowing it down a bit. So mm -hmm. those things are working out against OG for the minute at least. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they have the money for a buy. Alexi be doing a good bit of talking there during the uh, timeout as well. Makes me wonder if it's uh, too many cooks in the kitchen again for OG, or um, if they need to tighten up their comms a little bit here. We're going to find out, of course, as we progress. It's so hard to say because sometimes sometimes going slowly to a bomb site also makes sense, right? Because, you know, theoretically, VP quickly rotate to the bomb site, and then it's another 20 seconds before someone shows up. That can also make you doubt and start to say, wait, hold on, like, maybe we've got this wrong. They're not showing up yet. Mm. So... It's really hard to read from the outside, I guess. But I'd be interested to see if they have a sense of how quickly VP are, are just gravitating or leaving a bombsite alone, basically. As you can now again with them in the middle of the orc, could it be taking down Alexi B, which is a real problem because everyone else is on this side. And this is so well defended. They sh there should be no way into this bombsite right now if you're on the OG side. Oh, no. He body blocked his teammate's smoke. That was two smokes going in. Weird stuff there. Miscommunication, perhaps, on the VP side, or a fresh smoke going down, but that is not perfect. It leaves a gap for NBK to work with. Unfortunately, Alexi B, he died in mid. So NBK's yeah. got a ways to go before he gets a gun in his hands. All he's got is the Deagle. And it's looking like, after a moment of uh, hesitation there from OG, thinking perhaps they wanted to wrap out, it is just going to be them committing to the A site. Yeah. Not, I'm not liking all this shuffling back and forth business at all. Look at how far up they are over the B hallways as well. VP already know that this is very likely going to be in an A-type executor. They should know by now. They should have a quick rotation to shoot someone in the back as well if the bomb ever goes down here. But they're really well defended at the moment. 35 seconds. James, a little bit of a missed opportunity there. Could have been a straight kill. And they're waiting for someone else to show up. But at the meantime, again, Yekendar is right behind them. And he's seconds away from just wrecking this round in favor of VP. Yeah, he's actually just waiting for his teammates. It's a very disciplined play at the moment for him. A nice couple of double kills there coming in from uh, Kickard, meaning just man to left. And he's just being toyed with in the corner. Mm -hmm. All right. Do we have uh, the uh, smoke, the first smoke thrown by OG as they tried to scrim their way up uh, ramp? Because I'm pretty sure somebody screwed it up. And um, a smoke wound up on top of the tower at Sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that's not ideal either. No. That's a, that's a really painful one, though, especially, I mean, you know... A site Mirage, you're supposed to have most of those smokes dialed, or at least you should be able to, to get those smokes dialed in by now. Uh, especially if it's OG, you know, like this is your map. This is yeah. pretty much your home map. So a little bit of a frustrating uh, error there from OG that might have cost them in the end. Still, VP just looking more and more comfortable here after these two rounds that they managed to pick up. I mean, it's it's pretty Absolutely. smooth sailing. They're doing, they're doing a very fine job. They look, In my opinion, they look far more dialed in at the moment than OG do. Indeed. And... Um, all right, a little bit, little bit scary. Sanji down here. He is alone in the bomb site, so it might be cool if someone else could show up. This MP9, I mean, it could do a lot of damage, but it's not infinite, is it? Yeah, this buster just in time, and that's going to be fine. I mean, the bomb plant, it's a bit annoying. I actually thought it would be a little bit worse there, so I think VP will probably just be fine with it. I, yeah, I don't know. The the fact that they were outside of that A-bomb site, when they lose Alexi B in middle, they have, mm -hmm. I think, like a minute and 20 seconds. So it's not like yeah. they don't have time to go back. If they really wanted to, they could have gone back and checked everything. The problem is, obviously, if you have to traverse the whole map from the A side and go back to B, it's a, it's a lot of corners to check. And if someone snuck, like, you know, pushed forward, you could just get killed and all the rest of it. I don't understand the part where they go back and then go, you know, say, oh, okay, back to the A-bomb site. That, to me, just looks like indecision in the team like like someone said oh let's just go back and check and make sure and then they're like oh wait a minute no no never, never mind never mind just go a and it's like that i don't like it's early days though it is early days but this is one of the stronger opponents that og have had to play against for sure so vp i mean they're they're going to be a step above a cut above genji genji you know sporting the two stand-ins bit of a pug kind of approach to things maybe even a little bit of a language barrier with exist in the swedish english you know kind of cross um it's not going to be the same as virtus pro virtus pro are not to be messed with and while this is weird nbk is just kind of out in the middle of no man's land here does he get any support from his teammates whoa jay missing that shot Missed opportunity, and that's going to open his teammates up to getting swarmed. It's all Jame now, point blank with the AWP. OG have to know that this guy's close. Yeah, but they can't find him right now. He's actually just so hard to catch. And yeah, they know that he's here somewhere, but they're not quite sure. And even even better, Buster is still up there. Even This doesn't even matter. It's fine. They find Jame, but they have no idea that Buster is up there. And that could be lethal to this team 
He's sneaking in. Yep, he's looking for the double. This is... Oh, no! He needed that straight headshot. Oh, man, a giant opportunity. Absolutely could have been VP's round. I don't even mind that he doesn't take the first shot. Nine times out of ten, for sure, he, he just instant dinks that first guy and is on to the next guy. And it's just a, a quick double spray down. Why did you have to curse him like that? I just... know. I, d I am sorry. You brought too much attention on him. The, Give the, me the CS gods at that point just have to deny you. It's... Oh, it's, it, it would have been so cool because at that point, we, for sure, OG, when they finally find James, they're like, yes, all right, good, mm -hmm. good job. Now focus on the rest. And, like, James' death almost sold that uh, that flank from Buster even more. Oh, that, that was meant to be. Yeah, and they are definitely ready for your Kinder's aggressive push mid this time around. Well, I'm oh, Buster, though. At least he takes one. Does he manage to make it out intact? No, Mantu's going to get the flank on him quick enough there from uh, Short. And so man advantage maintained for OG straight up onto ladder now. And that is Jane getting the shot on Alexi B as well. Not looking too hot here for OG on this push. They're down a man. They went from having a man advantage and they just keep getting smashed. Yeah, and look at how many people are here from VP again. Just so many people so quickly. It's very hard to know how much of this is being reported throughout OG. Like we just said, we have no idea how much they're actually picking up on it, but... VP are very, very sharp right now at instantly being where they need to be, which so far is a huge advantage. It only really becomes a disadvantage mm. if OG find out and start to abuse it. because And especially on Mirage, you can do that so much if you really want to. Uh, that's not been happening yet, so more power to, uh, to VP, especially losing that last round, which I think they should have won the last one even. This is uh, definitely interesting. And again, the discipline here, not picking him, not doing anything. Mm. It's, it's what you want to do. Yeah. Don't give him the opportunity. Now you've got the triangle set up. And uh, should he find the first shot with an AWP, there's no way he gets the second. The only hope here is that he walks in and picks up the bomb. There's the shot, and he has got to be a dead man. Oh, for a second, I thought he was going to do it, dude. No scope. <laughs> for a second, that that looked way too close. He's probably oh, he's clicking the mouse button like the signal yes. just doesn't come through in time. He's like, please. He's just holding down on mouse one there. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, but they're, they're, it's so weird. The adjustment is made by OG. They're ready for your kinder. Yeah. And then they just fall apart here as it develops. Well, I think part, part of the reason they fall apart is because they're not expecting for, their, for the rest. I mean, think about it. You kill you kill your kinder in the middle. You kill Buster over in B. You're not expecting at that point, well, not even B, Catwalk. You're not expecting that everyone else is at A, which is, in fact, what was true. So you're thinking, well, we've got one mid-kill, one catwalk. I mean, surely there's someone else in B, which means we're essentially two on five towards the A-bomb side. So you think, like, good odds, let's go. Mm -hmm. And the VP just, again, they're so quick to be there. Buster was the only one playing uh, on catwalk and B at that point in time. Everyone else, well, almost immediately afterwards, everyone else that rotated towards jungle. So here we go, though. A little bit more of a spread out, but um, I think mostly to try and get the bomb down. I'm assuming they're going to try and make a little bit of noise over at B. In fact, they're not just, just going to send Alexi in first. The bomb is still a ramp, so... What, Alexi sacrifices himself, then they make some noise at B, and then they go plant the bomb? They don't even know, I think. Now they might have changed their minds, because Alexi's all the way in here. <laughs> this is madness now. What is going on? Yeah, but they've been spotted as well. The Sanji did not rotate off, and so he finds the headshot on Velda. <laughs> HE, here, take this. <laughs> what? He takes no damage. Okay. I, wanna, I want that angle as a replay. That, the grenade landed right in front of him. Sanji doing a, a remarkable job, just making sure they're not even going to get the bomb plant here. Mantu trying his best for more Deagle headshots, but they will only take away one rifle there. So VP doing, again, I think a really, really admirable job. They've won five of the last six rounds. And again, they should have even won that one round in between there. Mm -hmm. So I think this is looking really solid at the moment. And I think OG, again, it's very hard to know if, if they have the data to, to make these calls, but I would say... You have to try and manipulate the rotation of that VP defense right now. That's the that's one way to go about this anyway. Standard setup early on here for VP. Again, one middle, two A, two B. So that's how it goes. But try and keep an eye on the minimap as soon as as soon as they. Oh, yeah, well, forget about I, the I minimap. You. Yeah, you did say it earlier, didn't you? Mantu was so quick jumping down. He can't quite get that one, but they need to go on Buster anyway. They've got to find a way to overwhelm him already. Yakinara shown up. He's going to get flashed, though. I don't know if they know that he's here just yet. Dangerous position right now for Yakinara. He's in the middle of the bomb site, and he is going to get caught. He wanted to help out, but now it might be too much here. Do you try and go for this or just leave it alone? 
That is so sick. That actually Monte. is sick, isn't it? Like that, you got to be so fast to hit that shot. And he is. I mean, he is hard carrying. Uh, OG, it really does feel like they live or die by the Monte right now. And while well, he's at 10 kills, but, you know, in the meantime, James is just quietly, you know, doing his job over here on the VP side. 10 2 for uh, Jame right now on VP. Spots out the man in connector. Pretty sure, yeah. Oh, he got spotted as well. Since this is going to get awkward. His teammate wants to help him out. Kick it is up there in the in in the hallway. He's just saying, I step forward and I'll try and I'll try and save you a little bit here. Well, bomb is finally going to be there. Kick it forced out, and he'll go down. Very aggressive, but this orb is still a huge save, in fact, for uh, for VP. So, yeah, OG tied up, and that was a that's a magnificent kill to start the round with. Just chaos. Let's see it. Boom. Yeah, catches him through the edge of the wall. And the follow-up as well. But this is uh, this is OG textbook stuff when it comes to taking over the site. One after the other, staying alive as best they can, and just catching VP looking the wrong way most of the time there. So now it's going to be tied up 5-5 five to five and a change of pace attempted here by OG, at least at the beginning. Hoping to get a pot shot on somebody. Not going to be the case, though. Montu decides to back off, and that's unfortunate. Had he held that angle, he might have been able to catch a kill here. Instead, it's going to be Kickert now with the advantage. Bit of a jump, they get a bit of that smoke immediately. Flash coming through, NBK wins the fight, leaving Yakindar alone on the side. He has to get the double, but he can't in time. And that gives the A site to OG. So just trading evenly into that fight, but it's so worth it for the T side to try and do smoke drop and everything else. They're actually pushing into it to try and take the fight, almost with the back turn and Buster goes down. It looked like they could have walked right into Jame then. And that would have been a disaster. No bomb plant yet, but they've got plenty of time. Sanji here with the M4. In fact, going to get flashed and pushed, though, by the AWP. So they can't really spray him down. And now Jame coming back. Sanji on the other side. Oh, it's all over the place. And looking like maybe VP will make it out of this round. Needs to get the swing, and he's not going to do it. Jame will not be caught sleeping. He is going to get that 12th kill for himself. And I wow. think the, the point where it falls apart is that it's Velda who has the bomb. Over by Connector. Yeah. He's the one who catches the push through the smoke. Fantastic. He gets that kill, but then they can't get on the bomb site. He's got to scramble to get over there, and it's all sorts of awkward. But you can see Velda had that bomb, and as the smoke clears, it's just not happening. He needs to, They need to be getting that bomb planted while those smokes are up. As soon as they clear, that's it. They're doomed. You also feel like flashing someone in to, towards CT spawn with an AWP. I mean, if, even if, if he'd had the pistol out, probably he could have just run down uh, Sanji or Kicker or whoever it was who was there. Uh, but the AWP, right, you're, you're, you're going to be tempted to take that one shot, and if you don't hit it, you're like, all right, whatever. Like, But mm -hmm. some, some really, really small margins in that round. It works out for VP. And again, Jame, I think, showing just what a resource he can be on this team when he's, when he's got that AWP. He's 12 and 2 right now. It's really uh, amazing work coming out from him at the moment. So that is a nice pillar right now for VP to rely upon. And we'll see if OG have it. They've got three HE grenades going to the middle. They could find themselves. At no, it's not yet. They're all, no one's going there. There's going to be no targets. Oh, there was a lot of aggression. Palace push coming through, and Yakinder is there to open it up and take NBK out of that picture. He's only got four health. He has to be careful. And wow, Kickert hits that despite not having the angle advantage. That's big. Velda caught sleeping, and that's an AK down. Lost. Kicker's going to be able to trade out. And now, well, OG in this round. I mean, essentially, the rest of them are all just hard ecoing, so. It's so important that OG do some damage in this round because the money on VP is not good. And if you let them go in the, in this one, I mean, the last one was, what, a, a two-on-one that they, that they just managed to win? Mm -hmm. And so that almost reset their economy already. If you let them out with this, with everyone alive here, you will have, well, they'll have saved their economy and, and you, you have to suddenly do a lot more. And you're running out of rounds anyway to reset it, so it's kind of now or maybe in the next round, but otherwise it's going to be trouble. Six to five here, and yeah, man, two. All right, he's going to get the M4 at least. But I like CB is that this is the real deal, right? If they can if they can force someone to rotate, if they can get one entry somewhere here and, and force that rotation, maybe Alexi can pick up a kill, and at least then you'd have something to work with. But that all <laughs> goes away when Buster shows up mm -hmm. long range. Can they just double up on Yakinder? It looks like that might be the play here. He's only got four health. And it just happens that Issa's got the Glock. One bullet, one bullet! That would have done it, and that could have perhaps opened things or given Montu a little bit more room to work with. The oh, nice try. Wanted to go for the first shot. 
Right. Wow. Even without Kevlar, Monzu sprays and gets a kill. It's not bad. It's not bad. It does something. I still think another kill would have would have been the, the real difference maker. For sure. Uh, it's not the end of days here for OG. Uh, they did not get a bomb plant, but they saved enough money to be able to get a f decent buy here. Monster's going to have the AWP as well if he wants it, and they are going to elect to get the sniper rifle. So 7-5, to five, VP on the CT side in the lead. But uh, it is actually going to be a decently bought up OG. Curious to see what the game plan is, though. It's looking like it's going to be the mid-challenge. Yakinder once again going aggressive. This could set it up here. OG looking to take this fight. Yakinder's holding right on the edge and wow. takes full advantage of it. He has such an incredible lineup. You could tell it's so hard to see anything. But they, they, I don't think they've you seen that see before. Him. Yeah. I'm not sure if they've seen that. MBK dies to the exact same trick and probably no, like not even being called at that point. I, that's where we really, really interesting to know how many times they run into that. Iza gets a kill on Kicker. They'll offer a slight way back into the round here. But it is trouble. And maybe especially now that Iza's low on health. They're going to double up and one grenade here would do it. It's going to be bouncing around the corner and it's Jame to pick up that kill. Two versus three, plenty of time, but they're in a rough spot right here, <laughs> even Dude. more so now. Two separate HE kills in a single round. It's not a, we don't always see that. Alexi B on the edge of the smoke. Not sure if he managed to spot out Yakinder there. Yakinder on the side itself, looking to find a shot, and it's going to be Jame who catches Alexi B in the open. So eight rounds picked up here on the CT side for Virtus Pro. Eight to five. And well, OG, that is uh, that is the kind of clutch round that you want to set up if you're Virtus Pro that you're holding in your back pocket. I actually, I look at that. They couldn't tell from how, from we could actually follow that from OG's perspective, and they couldn't see him. It just looked like two smokes. Yeah. Well, then here's what's so genius, right? That the smoke that they that the CT side throw. I'm sure from OG's point of view, it just looks like the smoke you normally put down to prevent a Molotov. Mm -hmm. So then, so it's not even so suspicious from their point of view. They're just like, well, so whatever. Like, they've just made sure that we can't Molotov it. And then actually, it uses their smoke, which is the one they're setting up right here, against them. That is really next level. Yeah, super cool. Oh, dear. That's a shot. All right, no joke this time around. They actually managed to pick up a big kill there with the Deagle NBK, opening it up. Fifth kill for him. It has been, wow, a very quiet... It's like you look away for a few rounds, and uh, you look back, and it's still five kills for NBK, five for Issa, three for Alexi B. Yeah. OG just aren't getting any kills. No, they're lacking them. They're definitely lacking a bit in, the, in that department at the moment. All right, a bit of a jump. Sanji not even that worried. He's got some backup in Buster who could be swinging around. He's going to come back with the M4, so that helps out on the other side. A little bit dangerous. He'll take care of the first uh, challenge there. And they're solo on health right now. Valde, there's a great headshot to follow it up. I mean, it's pretty impressive. Kick it, though. Nice position, just offsetting himself a little bit. And MBK, he'd have to get two pretty clean headshots. He can't really survive a long fight. He does have some time for it. Oh, there's one of them. Not clean, but he does get the job done now. It's up against James, who's only died twice so far and has got 14 kills. So MBK just looks like he's hiding behind this pillar saying, please don't, Mr. James, leave me alone. Yeah, 25 seconds as well. Not a whole lot of time, but James backs off the window just as MBK decides to go for it. And so the bomb is going to get picked up here by MBK, and he could just go for the bold move. It's going to be the peak, oh my God. and James turns to the corner just in time once again. And now MBK is just going to have to stick this bomb. Get that planted and just hope that you're going to look the right way when James comes around the corner or you hit the flick. And he nearly does. So close. James with the running gun, though. Takes him out. And no head armor on MBK. <laughs> so he's dead from one single shot there. Oh, that's so painful. Wait, what? It's just he's just going to go, go shopping. Yeah, just a little victory lap. Scavenging. Just pick up some uh, nades. All the time to get a diffuse. Just hey, you know, you say three hundred bucks here, six hundred bucks there. It's all, it's all good money. Don't. He's got twelve thousand, so, uh, and we're going hey, into no, like the fifteenth round. <laughs> so I don't know what he's going to spend that money on, but that or it's uh, that or he's just talking smack a little bit, you know, to OG, just letting him know. I think that is the. It's the probably the better one, one, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just hey, you know, and well, that I can appreciate. Kind of sucks that you lost you that should. round, huh? Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys, kind of struggling, aren't you? Uh, this is your map, isn't it? Yeah, it I thought, is uh, I thought you'd be a little bit more competent. Listen, I think, I think if they could get this one last round in the OG, I think that's still, you know, 9-6, that's pretty acceptable. What worries me, again, is you have to... Just, oh, nice timing on that. Still remember that there's that round in the middle that absolutely VP should have won. So 9-5, yeah, but I'm tempted to almost call it, you know, like 10-4 in some sense. Could mm -hmm. have very easily been. And that's 
Not a great uh, position to be in here. You cannot with the Orc, and they line up in front, and he's going to take them both right down. Amazing stuff, and he's been doing this so much in the middle. He's just been very aggressive, and they have not had very many very good answers either. He's at the edge play. <laughs> he's still doing it. No way. Oh, my God. Dude, you can't see him. Yeah. The way smokes are working right now. Yeah, he can see you. Yeah, but the way the word this the way the smokes work, man, it's crazy. Just able to spot. Some very cool tricks. Cause again, I think he well, I think they themselves put that one up, so Valde, one versus four, and the bomb is in the middle. It's the whole thing is a disaster at the moment. And it looks so promising. The kill on James to kick things off. It looked really good for OG. And then they just got whittled down. All four players for Virtus Pro alive and well. And just, uh, you know, covering that bomb. There we go. 10-5, to 5, the end, the uh, score at the end of the first half here. Virtus Pro on the CT side. Fully stabilizing the situation. Five rounds in a row at the end in a streak. Just looking way too good on OG's map. And we're going to see what OG can do right after the break. Back, ladies and gentlemen, 10 to 5. Second half is coming right up. VP now going to be on the T side. OG on the CT side. And I thought that was a very, very strong performance from VP in that first half. I'm not even sure 10 5. I think, again, in my brain, I'm just going to call that 11 4. 11 4. Tournament won't, but I 12 3. I mean, if you want to count the Mantu round where he just guts it. Yeah. You know, there's, there's a few in there. There's a few in there. This could have been the complete Virtus Pro show. You're right. Uh, now we got to see if they can pull that off on the uh, T side pistol. OG on the CT side pistol tend to win more uh, than lose. They're slightly above 50%. But uh, now VP going to be looking to wreck that stat. Oh, NBK just lets him go past. Big opportunity here for NBK to just completely shut him down. Two kills for NBK. Brilliant work. 
and that's allowed for Monty to rotate in as well. The clamp is coming down on VP. This B site is looking so solid. Oh, gee, they were ready. I actually can't believe NBK recovered that. That just looked like, you know, that looked like it already slipped. It had already, like, you know, bottles mm -hmm. already out of his hand. He's just trying desperately, like, fumble it all over the place before it just, you know, cracks on the ground. And somehow it doesn't. That was, that was actually, yeah, it wasn't smooth work at all from MBK, but it, it somehow worked. Dude, that was sick. And he uh, made up for it. Yeah, no bomb plants. Kind of feeds into uh, the follow up here. And uh, shout out to Yumi, who's been on top of stats as well throughout the tournament here, providing us with the insights. But uh, he was kind enough to tell me that OG, 90% of the time, if they win the pistol, they win the second round. So, uh,. I think that's kind of clear-cut in this one, considering Virtus.pro didn't get a bomb plant. They're not going to be going for the four spy shenanigans. So, you know, maybe OG, they got it They got it a little easy this time, Anders. Yeah, that led to the stats for sure, but, you know, still. All counts, doesn't it? But that's solid, yeah. The <laughs> problem is, as soon as you said, OG, 90% of the time, my my brain just auto-completes that as they win every time. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Why has that happened? Just you always got to leave just a little margin, right? I know. But, you know, 90%, yeah, you might as well. 44. No, I'm thinking about the Anchorman thing as well. Like, you know, it's like, oh, it's so stupid. I haven't even seen that movie in, like, a decade at least. Yeah, but that's... It's, uh, it's been a while. been a minute. Well, you know, we've got teleprompters here. I'm sure we could have some Ron Burgundy moments. <laughs> Just watch, <laughs> watch the movie while we're doing the games that we're advocating. I'm Trying Ron to. Burgundy? <laughs> <laughs> Headshot coming fun. in. Yeah, get us back on track, man. So appreciate it. Yeah, fishing for some some kills. Why not? You know, hope you get one of those kills. You get a quick bomb plant. Looks like Mantu working on an Aces. Already got the quad. And <laughs> Raldo will steal it away at the end. Fair play, I guess. Doesn't really matter. 10 to 7. And OG, yeah. Decent start. But they're going to have to fight the AKs already in this third round. Which mm -hmm. I'm sure they know. And they're fighting those with three MP9s, so... Yeah, contrary to the strategy that they had on uh, T side where they went full rifles. Yes. Pretty much out the gates here on the second half. OG electing to go for the SMGs. Valda at least has an M4, so I'm going to be curious to see where he decides to position himself to try and maximize that weapon. The usual connector plays, huh? Oh, wow. Nearly there. So close. Yeah, confident uh, Valda. Trying to see if he can take the fight. Yakinda, he's alone in the middle, and everyone else is over at B. Oh, and MBK is so blind. Oh, that B bomb site's already gone. There's nothing left to fight for here. Even even that kill on Lexi B, I'd say, get the AK and just be, be happy you upgraded to that and fall back. It's not worth it. What world where NBK doesn't panic spray if he just stands still? Yeah. They both, neither of them looked at him until yeah. he started shooting. You know? Yeah, go sit in that couch for a minute. Exactly. It's where you wish, you know, once upon a time, NBK didn't shoot, and he then proceeded to gut Virtus Pro because those guys didn't check their angles. It's just, yeah. I mean, there are definitely times where it's, where it's, not, where it's not worth it, right? What's not worth it here for OG is um, uh, this, this map, the pain that they're currently going through right now. Uh, this is their map pick, and VP just look so prepared. Yeah. The Yakinder with his all out aggression in mid uh, throughout the entire first half really threw OG for a loop in key rounds. And uh, here at Virtus Pro, they just figured out how to get uh, ahead on their first buy round as well. 11 to 7 on the T side VP. Just looking fantastic. And yeah, that was NBK just getting annihilated. They're looking really good, and I think. Um so it's also an incredible team effort that they're going through at the moment. Kicket's got 14, Sanji's got 12, Buster's a little bit behind, but not that much. So it isn't just, you know, the, the Jame and Yakinda show at the moment, which I think is also amazing news. Some uh, aggression coming into top mid, but Yakinda, I mean, he takes a lot of damage, but also can report that back and say, you know, there's a lot of people in middle, meaning probably no one in B, except for NBK, who is immediately downed. And again, I don't even know what they're meant to do at this point in time. That This is going to be... I mean, the bomb line's actually a little bit delayed, but I'm not sure it even makes that big of a difference to them. No. Nice save, mate. That's a great nade on the buster. But, yeah, you can tell. I mean, still three players over towards A for OG, only just now getting into mid. And it's I'm confused, Anders. Uh, is mid Mirage now, uh, like, Banana on Inferno with the number of nades flying in there at the beginning of the round? That was crazy. 
it was just a total all-out bombardment from both sides. Feels like both teams used almost all their utility right there. They just went for it. That was sick, though. I'm glad. I'm glad to see that aggression from OG. They know they have to take the fight to Virtus Pro. They can't be mincing about. They got to get in there. But I mean, obviously, the math is so easy for VP once they hear all those nades top mid. They're just like, cool. Oh. If you're going to be throwing three cheese top mid, then yeah, if there's that many people here, you're not going to have two people B. So go for it. Well, Mantu can get an AWP. He'll be able to drop his rifle for NBK. And so this is still going to be a pretty good buy here for OG, all things considered. It Don't will be. Here. And it, I mean, it's also probably because they, they've been saving in some of these rounds, which they, they, is the right move. But I think this might be one of their last chances to really slow down VP. I think they need to go on like a three-round winning streak or something like this to, to, to make this somewhat of a game. I think VP are just looking so hot right now. Jim coming through the underpass, the rest of them waiting top mid, and yeah, as soon as he's in position, slow down a bit there. But they should be able to take middle. Eventually, they will be able to work their way out here. They're just waiting again, Virtus Pro playing it very safe, and uh, wondering if OG are going to go for more of that delayed aggression to top mid to try and take this back. Not going to be the case, though. And in the meantime, the key to this round, Kickert, is still alive in Palace, and he needs to just be... He needs to stay here, and he needs to stay alive. And you can see that's why he's playing very passively right now, trying to hold these angles in case OG try to play for information, try to push in here. But so long as he stays alive, Virtus Pro have options. They can go through connector to A, or they can set up for the flank or the distraction towards B. It's looking like it is going to be up connector onto the safe side, and we're about to get a sandwich here. Yeah, F James flashing them in. They're going to come through their own smoke, and... A huge miss there for Mantu. He needed that kill. The Valdez is going to drop next and Iza. Alone back here. Still 40 seconds. Oh, <laughs> Buster. Hardly even checking for me. So just seeing him. That slight little sliver there is enough. And that is... Well, it's a, it's a hard lesson for OG to learn in what happens when you give up mid and connector. And they're not missing anything. Yeah. The, the, the Virtus Pro is like, okay, yeah, we know exactly where Isa is. Isa is just non-existent on this map. Alexi B and Issa, dude. Five kills each. They're just not performing against Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro are just looking so comfortable. And it's everybody on Virtus Pro that are hitting it about the uh, about the same level. Yeah, they're doing a a fine job at the moment. But yeah, I think that also VP themselves smoked the top of connector or the, the part of connector that's towards the A bomb site. And then they had three people go through the smoke as Jane was flashing them in from middle. So again the the input delay from you realizing, oh, it's A, to they're on the A side, it's almost instant. It just happens so quickly that it's very, very hard to recover from. So you, you need you need more warning than that somehow. 1370, well, this is looking yeah. so good. And we're going to get that tactical timeout getting called here by OG. They've been using it a lot, but it hasn't really been helping them. And this is the thing, I'm, wondering, I'm really wondering what's going on here for OG. Because Alexi B, he's known as a fragging in-game leader. He's known to get in there and get in these fights and emerge you know, victorious. But uh, right now, he may be having to just use too much, uh, too much of his brain on trying to figure out what the hell is going wrong on the team. And he yeah. can't focus enough on his own gameplay here. I think certainly that's... That's definitely could that could definitely could be happening, but if, if and I would even be okay with that if then Ezer and, and MBK were you know st stepping up to sort of a similar level as Valder and MBK right. if that was the trade off. But since it's obviously not, they're in a lot of trouble here. I don't know what the, what really what the answer is either. And I'm not even sure that I I'm I'm not even sure that this is like completely absent-minded OG from from a couple of weeks ago. I think Revi are playing an incredible game right now. I just, I, I really think they look super solid, and it's just, I just think no matter what happens here, it's gonna be hard for OG to find their way back in the game. Nice shot from Sanji, absolutely wrecking man too. It's a bit of a revenge as they did lose Yekindar over on the other side. Mm. So now again, that B bomb sites were working so well for them. Why not revisit that if you really want to? All right. Wow. And they've got the kicker who could, who could, you know. Kill rotators if anyone wants to sort of run out of the A bomb site too quickly. He can maybe hear them and shoot them in the back. Or they could just come back and and take A with him. All of these options are all good right now for, uh, for VP. They're in the driver's seat in this round. Yeah, yeah, Virtus Pro have so little, or OG rather, have so little to go off of. No grenades either. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, look at how many nades Virtus Pro have in comparison. Yeah. 
just want to see them use them right now, Virtus Pro. You've got all these nades. They're going for the scrim approach, which is to just kind of walk up here nadeless. Nothing to, to really warn OG. But with all these nades, you kind of want to see them get into play. And there we go. Smoke goes down to block off uh, Connector. That's not going to stop Isa from finding one kill. Alexi B, however, is in the mix. And Valda comes charging through. Velda with the plays. Comes charging through the smoke. Rips it apart. VP. Finally. The streak comes to an end. Three kill three rounds in a row for Virtus Pro. But OG, they're going to go ahead and pick one up. And even a round that didn't look like it was starting off that well at all. But yeah, MVP this time... Yeah, I mean, they they sort of... Once they throw the first grenade there from Connector, then it's just go time, isn't it? They like, look like they slowed it down a little bit, at least. Yeah, that was interesting. They still have money, though. And even after this round, they can, they can probably still scramble to buy. Buster charging into the middle. He can't see anything, and I'm shocked that he's... Well, he's not still alive at all. Yeah, Shocked that he, he lived done. even the two seconds longer than that. It's two seconds too long, in my opinion. Oh, Velda's clear. They've cleared that angle. He's being so clever right now, Velda, with this angle here. Unfortunately for him, Jame is not peeking just yet. Uh, Velda might actually go for this, and he is going to try and find an angle. And yep, oh, Sanji oh. was holding it. Velda needs to be careful, and he's going to back off. He knows that somebody's over here in Palace as well. He's setting up for an HE right on top of Yakinder. So that's a painful one there for Yakinder. Can they really do this? Okay, they peek outside of his scope slightly. If this actually works, oh no, not quite. He's almost dead here, man. To oh, he's he's what? I don't know. He's so close to dying in that moment. I don't even think he realizes at any point. But that is a bit of a miracle. Oh, oh, oh well, he gets back in the connector right over the edge of the smoke. So they know where two of them are. Should be some information here. Yep, spots him out in Palace as well. And this is going to become clear that this is, in fact, going to be an A hit for Virtus Pro. Two players remain, Yakinder and Kickert, moving on to the site. Nice opening kill there from Yakinder. But Isa on the edge to take it. He decides to punch Virtus Pros, and that's going to be a ninth round on the board for OG. Critical that yes. they manage to get those kills without the bomb getting planted either. Virtus Pro are going to have to spend all of their bank if they want to get a buy. And even then, it's not going to be the best one unless Buster drops a Galil and goes for a Galil himself. Kinder is going to have a very weak buy here. I can't imagine they wouldn't try and buy in this round. I feel like they didn't do that much damage in, in the last round. So I guess, you know, maybe you're worried about the fact that they still have some bank OG. But I, I just, yeah, they're going to go for it. I, I, I think it would be a mistake if they didn't just keep, keep pushing at this point in time. Again, they seem like they're the ones that have the momentum. Even with OG winning two rounds here, it's good. But the real change, surely, of, of pace in this game is going to be if they can win this next round OG. Because then VP, uh, barring any any weird shenanigans where they either save or get a bomb plant. Not even a bomb plant will help them, actually. But, yeah, if, unless they save some guns here, VP should finally be ecoing if they lose this next one. Mm. And that's where you know, maybe OG could take a deep breath and say, right, now we actually have a bit of a chance here. I think more than anything, a chance to, to play... NBK, Ezer, and, and Alexi be back in the game. Like, those people have to, to wake up even more. Oh, <laughs> it's so dead. Just so dead. What? Oh, and Jane missing that shot. Vela should be dead 100% here. Now he's got a chance. HE over the top, a little bit of a chance. No. There was an opportunity there for a two-man. Well, they do have the two-man advantage. For a three-man advantage. I don't know how they get. Well, Isa is actually doing the right thing here. It looks like, oh no, he's coming back a little bit. I was going to say, actually, he just almost has to take the risk and move forward and try and take a little bit of a fight here. They're going to peek him and take him right down. I wanted him to keep going because five on three, I, you know, just not sure it's going to work out if you just try and play it like a default and look a little bit like that's what they were doing. So VP, the one round that maybe would have put them on, on eco. They had a similar round in the first half when they were on the CT side where they nearly have, were forced to eco, and then they went on to win the round anyway and, and brought their economy back to life. So they've been skirting the edge sometimes of, of that economic dis destruction, but so far it's been working out uh, well for them every time, and that's a, that is a part of the story here, surely. Without a doubt, they have been very well prepared for this map. And knowing that it's OG's pretty much go-to pick, probably their strongest map in the pool, I mean, you were thinking, actually, it was a little bit of a discussion with um, Hawka going into this, how, you know, you look at Virtus Pro's uh, oh, statistics right now on maps, 
And then you're thinking, oh, they're a little fluffed, aren't they? Right? They, you know, they've been playing against a lot of CIS teams. They've been beating all the CIS teams. Yeah. You know, they're looking fantastic on all their maps. And so you're going into this thinking, oh, you know, maybe maybe we gotta be careful. You know, Virtus Pro, uh, it, it may be they may just be a little bit. They may be looking a little bit stronger in the stats than they are in reality. And it's like, no, no. <laughs> They, they are actually just beating up on you right now on your map pick, OG. Yeah. I mean, there's there's so much cool stuff to take away from this game right now. It's it's actually... It's just co really cool Counter-Strike that they're, that they're coming out with, both individually and I think as a team, too. The whole plan seems to be coming together right now. OG, this is probably the last chance they're going to have to really say anything about it. After this, they'll be out of money, and I doubt they could do much in, uh, in a round with just pistols. So, 14 to 9 in favor of VP. And things looking very, very solid at the moment. And it just—it feels like the only two people right now who can, who could sort of pick up a round on their own is Mantu and Valda. Just you know, one of those two will have to say, "All right, fine, guess I'll get double or a triple kill or something." Mm -hmm. But that is not quite enough, you know. And also, that's not really a plan, is it? No, oh, the patience getting shown there for a moment. Life is going to get very interesting for Issa. And he's dropped off and he's going to be going in looking for the kill on Buster. Yakinder catches Velda, flashes in, and unfortunately for Issa, he does not win that duel. Mantu is now alone in CT spawn, and he gets caught sleeping completely, baited into the open. Jame hits the shot, but the bomb is not compromised. Still should be an easy bomb plant here for Virtus Pro, and it should put them up on map point as this is a two-on-four retake for OG. NBK and Alexi B, everything on the table. And it won't be for long. Sanji's there to kick the legs out from under that table, send all of that food crashing to the floor. What a waste. And look it at ain't how, pretty. Look at how the rest of them were just waiting inside of the A-bomb site for Sanji to show up. They were like, why even go? Why just wait until... Yeah, we're seeing some real discipline. This is some actual team play coming in from VP. There, there aren't yeah. many mistakes where guys are kind of over-peaking or... You know, trying to make plays, right? It's not really happening for VP right now. They they look much more like an oil, a well-oiled machine. What's really upsetting about this round, if you go back and look at it from the from the first kill that happened on Valda over at um, over at Connector, is that he was actually, I think, he was smartly reading exactly what Yakinda was doing. It's just that you could, you know, Yakinda was walking through the smoke from Connector, and Valda just wanted to check for exactly that to see if he was on the stairs, but Yakinda was turned around and ready for it. So. I don't know. He just got... It was just a, a mental game between Yakinda and Valda that, that made a huge difference to opening up that round. I don't know if we'll have a replay or not, but... Yeah, so look at this. So Valda is smartly going to go check him, and Yakinda is, is in that moment just checking for it, right? If Valda is like one second later or one second earlier or something, he probably just wins that fight. So that crashed the entire A-bomb side. I think that was... Um, yeah, that was a small little difference, but the outcome or the consequences of it were absolutely, you know, huge. 15 to 9, and now... Oh, gee, a round away here from losing their own map pick, and they don't really have much to fight with. VP just continuing on. They've looked like a really well-planned out team here. Yeah, they, they look very well polished. And no weak spots either on any of this on any of these players. The Kinder were really alert, coming to expect this kind of performance from him. He seems to be Mr. Reliable right now for Virtus Pro. But everybody's in double digits. Everybody's looking very comfortable over on OG side. I mean, Isa and Alexi V continue to mirror themselves. Eight to eight. Yeah, eight and eight. And MBK at, at ten, right? Like yeah. it's the three of them right now that somehow need more. Yeah, it's been Manto and Velda who've just been yeah. fragging this entire map. I mean otherwise it's an even more one sided scoreline for Virtus Pro and we'd be done with the map already, so uh, now we have to see. That last time out getting called by OG and already a little bit more of a focus here on mid. With the uh, ladder room play here from Alexi B, we'll see if it works. Buster gonna walk right in. That was it wasn't even a jiggle peek. He kind of just slow walked his way into his death. Yeah. Oh, Jane. <laughs> he sees it coming. New Alexi would be curious about what else was happening in middle, and now they've got such a great line into the B bomb site. MBK's in there with an AK-47, but he would end up alone against a lot of people. Valda, could he find the timing here? If you could get down the ladder a little bit silently, maybe there could be a chance. Manta goes down, Isa's next, and I think Valde, even with the kill here, probably going to be tricky. You can do and kick out all low on health, so sort of a strange round, even if it's a two on three. Nice shot. Yeah, nicely done there by Valde. Two on two. And with enough time, that's the thing here. Sanji's got time to make a play. He can work his way around. Oh, spots the man, Jungle needs to win this duel. 
gets headshot through the angle there, somehow survives it. And well, that bomb is rotating over through spawn. But again, OG have to be careful because there's still, even then, there's still enough time for a rotation to happen towards B. Yeah. I think that's why they're not fully just, you know, rushing in here. They're still a little bit scared that maybe something weird is going to be going on. If they had an HE grenade, I mean, that would probably be the round over immediately. MBK, I think, smartly relocating to a little bit more of a open position where he could do a lot more from, from here, especially in terms of trying to deny the plant itself. Eight, seven seconds now. The, pl the plant actually will go through, but that's uh, enough for MBK. Just getting that one kill should do it. And Sanji... He's got nothing to cut to, to force them into anything here. They even have a Molotov, actually. They, I think Valde picked that one up in transit, so he's going to throw that in the corner. That's fine. Again, all they really have to do is try and, and have NBK defusing, but Valde's blo body blocking him, essentially. And things should work out all right. Sanji is about a bullet away from dying, so it'll be very, very hard to stop anything from happening here. But he's going to give it a try and wanted to swing wide for it. They mm. will get the defuse in. That'll be a tenth round for OG. Uh, brilliant work there. Well played in the end yeah. between the two veterans. You expect that level from uh, NBK and Valda both. Get them in that kind of position and they should be locking it down. Mm. But there should be enough money for a buy here from Virtus Pro, so it's not like life is going to get any easier for OG. Yeah, they keep having that money to, to rely upon. They need the next five in a row. And, I mean... I don't know, it's hard to find many silver linings. Well, one of them surely is that VP don't already have a, a, a loss bonus, right? We haven't got to 15-10 to with VP losing three in a row. Ooh, Buster gonna get flashed and killed, and so will Kicker. That's a great two-for-one trade, leaving the rest of VP in the middle. That actually works out so well. Oh! Oh, dear. Uh, okay, he gets executed. Sounds like he's there to trade it, though. So they're not out of the woods yet, OG. Yeah. Ooh, and they're going to just accelerate. All three remaining players for OG are on the A side of the map. Virtus Pro realizing this. They're going to make the play straight onto B. Bomb into window. And yeah, mantu has got the angle. Does not miss that shot. What a brilliant shot to hit. It just has to happen. And uh, if Mantu misses that, Bomb is probably getting planted and OG are in a world of hurt. Yes. But Mantu keeps his cool and he's just so quick. So yeah, again, the... The lack of a round loss bonus is the only thing that's that's making this slightly better for OG in terms of winning the five round streak, especially when they den deny the bomb plant like they just did. So those, I think, bomb plants right now are huge, and obviously OG not uh, not losing another round if they really want to get into the overtime. But yeah, that's that's the only thing that can keep this game or this map going for them right now is VP not having the money really. That is going to get checked by Valder. He wants to make sure. Ooh. Kicker, Flash as well, NBK getting hunted down. He's been playing this bomb side alone, but this time he's got some backup here. It's Alexi B to take down Kicker and just maybe barely save the day there. That looked really scary for a minute. Jim, he's saving the Glock. He's not, not giving up on that Glock. He just heard you, Andrews. He was nodding like, yes, indeed. So, if I had powers of telepathy, I don't know if I would use it to... Communicate with James. With well, the Counter Strike players in general, I feel like. <laughs> sure, I could find more interesting stuff, you know? Well, think about it, Anders. I mean, you would never get back banned. It's true. Think about how much money you could make key rounds, and all of a sudden you're telling, I don't know, Glaive, they stacked me. Exactly. I could just. <laughs> Make all my bets come true, it's true. Oh, it'd be nuts, yeah. That's it. Game over. Maybe there is a way. I'm sure you would stay in CS as well and not use those powers to dominate the world stock market or you know, I think precious metals or any of those. Fun I think things. In, in all honesty, I think if I did have like, you know, telepathy, I would just wake it I use it to wake up Jason at five AM every day. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just be talking in his ear. Uh, whispering sweet nothings. Yeah, that's <laughs> that would be how I use that power. Dude, that's the best. Oh, man. And then he is... Uh, the time zone, yeah. It's like... Yeah. It's going to be rough. Uh, Liquid just had a rough one. They lost down a, they lost a triumph. I, I know, yeah. 2-1, yeah. So 2-1, close match. Yeah, that was a uh, that was definitely surprising. Oh, Jane Grenade here. A little bit of a nice Tech-9 kill. Iza still out in the open. They're going to be trying to walk in behind him. He's got some backup, but actually he's still going to get overrun. And OG, I don't know how they even lost this bomb sign. They put up no fight.
That's three of them down with only taking Jame, and I think that just might be the map. What a what an absolute shock. What a way to lose it. It was looking so promising. Wind beneath your wings, a little bit of money in the bank, you were going to get buys going, and, uh, well, now, unfortunately, it's MBK trying to make some kind of hero play here. Sanji holding close, and Mantu with the AWP, not the best weapon to retake a bombsite with. But they were close enough. Nice, he's still going to get that kill on Sanji, despite Sanji turning away, but Buster's got the angle, and now it's all on Mantu, 1v3. Triangle set up here for Virtus Pro, should be impossible for Mantu to pull this off. Lest Virtus Pro gift it to him one at a time. Not going to wow. happen. Kekert catches him in the open. 16 to 12, the final score on Mirage in favor of Virtus Pro. I have so many questions, especially about who died in CT spawn and how come nobody was covering Isa as he was retreating from that A ramp. Man, what a, what a disaster. I mean, never mind that the comeback was going to be hard to win no matter what, but the fact that they end up losing it in that fashion, that has got to be a little bit gut wrenching. We'll see if they can recover as we go into the second map that is going to be coming up after the break. So stay tuned.